Contender Regime Boxing checking back in with y'all, man. What's happening? Hey, Gary Russell Jr. has to step up immediately. Immediately. I mean, at this point in his career, his next two or three fights, pivotal. I'm going to keep it 100. His next fight, very important. Very, very important for a couple of different reasons. Number one, if you look at where he had in his career, I believe Gary Russell Jr. is over 30 now, maybe like 31, 32 you know what I'm saying? In, anywhere between 30 and 32, you know, which is still young. You know, you still, and he ain't took a lot of uh, punishment. He ain't taking a lot of damage and he don't fight that often. So, you know, the brother really still is well preserved. You know what I'm saying? And you can see he still got that dog and that fire in his eyes from the way he talked and his belief in his craft and his skills. But I say that this this time and, and moment is pivotal for him because he had that opportunity when he fought Lomachenko, wasn't able to capitalize. And he caught Lomachenko early. You know what I'm saying? You would have thought he was going to be able to capitalize on that. So now you back in a good space. You back with an opportunity. You were champion at 126. You know, now you're talking about moving up to 130 and possibly even fighting at 135. You you spoke on the possibility of fighting Devin Haney. Bro, I think your next fight, I know um, uh, Shakur Stevenson, who just came out and said that he and Gary Russell Jr. would put on a great fight. And I, I agree to that. I think Shakur Stevenson versus Gary Russell Jr. at 130 would be a great fight. I mean, at 126 for unification... That's fantastic. That's even better. But if uh, 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 Shakur Stevenson is about to go up and fight Caraballo at 130 on June 9th, so he might end up staying at 130. Gary Russell Jr. has been talking about he's going up to 130. So I think Gary Russell Jr. need to get in there with a Shakur Stevenson immediately. Or if not, go ahead and go up to 135 and like you said, you put out a video showing yourself getting on the, on a scale saying that, look, I can fight at 135. I'm good. I can weigh 135 and be comfortable. Cool. You and Devin Haney sending shots back and forth. Devin Haney got a title at 135. Devin Haney's first fight back will be a voluntary defense. You can fight Devin Haney for that first fight back. That's a big fight. That's a great fight. Gary Russell Jr., I don't buy the idea that everybody running from you, bro. I love Gary Russell Jr. The brother can fight, very skilled, a very fun fighter to watch, probably the fastest hands in boxing, and it's been that way for years. I don't buy that Shakur Stevenson is afraid of Gary Russell Jr. I don't buy that Devin Haney is afraid of Gary Russell Jr. Leo Santa Cruz, yeah, <laughs> he's definitely been avoiding Gary Russell Jr., but Devin Haney, uh, Shakur Stevenson, you know, anybody else at 135, like Teofimo Lopez, I don't think none of these guys are avoiding Gary Russell Jr. It's about time that he get in there with Shakur Stevenson or Devin Haney. I think that's perfect. You know, you can fight Shakur Stevenson at 126 or 130. You can pick. Or like you said, you can go up to 135. You can get Devin Haney in a voluntary title defense, and it'll be a great fight. You know what I'm saying? Right now, these next two fights for Gary Russell Jr. is pivotal for his career. Because you don't want to be one of those fighters that just let your career just fall in the, you know, fall to the wayside and everybody forget about you because number one, you're not very active. And then number two, you ain't been fighting nobody. And it's only so long you can use that that line that, oh, everybody's avoiding me, bro. I don't think that's the case. Maybe the one guy that you've been wanting to fight been avoiding you, which is uh, Leo Santa Cruz. I think even Tank Davis will fight you, bro. We got to make that happen, man. 
Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Who do y'all want to see Gary Russell Jr. fight next? And just kind of elaborate on how important it is for his next couple of fights to be substantial, so to be some really good and big fights against some some very top fighters, some some very uh, good fighters and, and respected guys in those respected weight classes, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Contender Regime. Boxing, I holler at y'all boys, man.